I've been working on a new version of the uh, Combinator uh, CPU in Factorio. I guess this is uh, version 4, so I'll call it Mark 4. Those who have seen uh, previous versions uh, will notice it's quite a bit smaller as it's missing a large chunk of circuitry that was located roughly here. That was the uh, actual instruction decoder. Now, the purpose of the instruction decoder was to uh, take the instructions from the ROM or program memory and uh, translate them into uh, uh, timing and control signals that would do uh, various things. Now, without the instruction decoder, uh, all the uh, timing and control signals uh, are held in the actual memory which makes for some very interesting instructions, as you can see. Other changes to the CPU are not as drastic, or at least not on the surface. We still have the same functional areas. For example, the, uh, the area uh, concerned with the program control and program flow where things like, such as incrementing instruction, uh, jumps, uh, returns, etc. are done. The uh, arithmetic unit where we add, subtract, multiply, divide data. Accumulator where the data is stored. And the, uh, the branching logic which determines whether to branch or not. As well, we still have the uh, four registers, the index or the X register, used principally in uh, repeat or loop instruction, which is uh, useful for zeroing blocks of memory or moving chunks of memory from A to B. The stack pointer, essential for the uh, subroutine call and return instructions, but also useful in passing parameters on the stack. So we can uh, push some parameters on the stack and then the called subroutine can retrieve them from the stack. And the two uh, general base registers, the Y register here and the uh, Z or Z register, <coughs> These registers supply the offset addresses or can be used to manipulate pointers. So one, one difference from our previous versions is that this is a pipelined uh, CPU. Here's the pipeline here, these combinators. There's six of them. The, the signals from the memory from the instruction memory travel through them and are distributed to various bits and pieces of the uh, CPU. For example, this area down here does the reading of the RAM. This area here does writing. This area obviously does the computation, etc. The, the memory itself hasn't changed much. We still have the uh, read-only memory here where we store the, store the instructions and the uh, read-write memory or the RAM which is used for storage of data and stack and etc. Now about the speed of this computer. Uh, majority of the instructions can be executed every two ticks. So in theory this uh, CPU can run at 30 instructions per second. There are two exceptions to this. The uh, return from subroutine takes four ticks and the branch takes seven ticks. The reason why branch takes seven ticks is because it has to wait until everything else is done to determine whether to branch or not. This is not as bad as it sounds because uh, it is possible to combine instructions. For example, here 
we are combining a branch with a couple of other instructions. This instruction basically says uh, <coughs> read the value from uh, top of stack minus 4, put it into the accumulator and subtract minus 1 from it. If the result is negative, branch to address 29. So at least three or four instructions in seven ticks, which is not too bad. But enough about the uh, architecture and details of implementation. Let's see it work. I'll start it up and see what it does. I've written a program called uh, Towers Hanoi. For those of you who are not familiar with Towers Hanoi Puzzle, you have three towers. One, two, and three. On the first tower there's a number of disks of decreasing size and the object is to move it to the second tower. The rules are only one disk can be moved at a time and at no time can a larger disk be placed on top of the smaller disk. As you can see the program is solving it right now for five disks. As to why I did it, <coughs> why did I write the towers of Hanoi instead of factory control or something like that. Well, this program demonstrate recursion, which is uh, routine calling itself multiple times. It's a pretty good exercise for functionality and speed. Demonstrates use of the stack. I've been asked to do that. And finally, it's colorful and I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it too.